Is India, the world's largest democracy, ready for the advent of artificial intelligence? Can our regulations keep up with the rapid pace of AI development? As we delve into the heart of the Indian subcontinent, we encounter a landscape brimming with technological potential. Here, AI is not a distant concept, but a fast-evolving reality. However, with this progress comes the need for sound regulations, a framework that ensures AI's benefits are reaped while its potential pitfalls are mitigated. In the middle of this conundrum, one voice stands out, providing an insightful perspective on the issue. Andrew Ng, the founder of Deep Learning AI and Landing AI. His viewpoint on India's approach to regulating AI is optimistic, endorsing the nation's efforts. But what does he really think about the future of AI in India? Andrew Ng, a leading figure in the world of AI, has some interesting insights on this matter. Andrew Eng, founder of Deep Learning AI and Landing AI, recently shared his thoughts on India's approach to regulating AI. Andrew Ng is no stranger to the world of artificial intelligence. Having founded Deep Learning AI and Landing AI, he has been at the forefront of AI innovation. Recently, he has expressed his thoughts on various AI topics, including the governance structure at OpenAI. Eng's viewpoint is rather critical expressing disappointment in their governance system, a factor that raises questions about the future of such organizations. Moving to the topic of job loss due to generative AI, Ng offers a balanced perspective. While he acknowledges that some roles may indeed become fully automated, he emphasizes that most jobs will only see a part of their tasks automated. This view suggests a future where AI and humans collaborate rather than one replacing the other. The timeline for achieving Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, according to Eng, is not as close as some might think. He believes this milestone to be decades away, a prediction that brings a sense of realism to the often overhyped AI narrative. On the topic of global regulation of AI, Eng makes a compelling case. He stresses the importance of regulation to prevent misuse, but also warns of the potential to stifle innovation if not implemented with care. It's a delicate balance that requires thoughtful policy-making. Ng also discussed the traction of the generative AI course on Coursera, highlighting the growing interest in acquiring these skills. This reflects the increasing relevance of AI in our world and the need for more people to understand its workings and potential applications. Lastly, Ange addresses the concern about AI writing its own code. He argues that while AI can automate a fraction of tasks, it's crucial for individuals and companies to understand and embrace the use cases rather than fear them. Eng's insights provide a new perspective on AI's growth and impact on job markets and the importance of regulation. His thoughts on these matters offer nuanced insights into the complex world of AI and remind us that while AI holds great promise, it is not without its challenges. One of the major concerns surrounding AI is job loss. Ng, however, has a different viewpoint. As we delve deeper into the world of artificial intelligence, it's impossible to ignore the elephant in the room, job loss. But Andrew Ng, the founder of Deep Learning AI and Landing AI, offers a fresh perspective on this issue. According to Ng, it's not about jobs being completely eradicated by the rise of AI, rather, he suggests that we're likely to see a shift in the way tasks are performed. He posits that while certain jobs may see full automation, the majority will only have portions automated. This perspective paints a less dire picture of the future workforce. It suggests that the rise of AI doesn't necessarily mean the end of employment as we know it, but rather a transformation. We might see jobs evolving, adapting and integrating AI into their processes, rather than being replaced entirely. Ng's approach asks us to see job automation not as a threat, but as an opportunity for evolution and growth. It encourages us to consider how we can adapt and learn to work alongside AI instead of fearing its rise. Ng's stance on job loss is both reassuring and thought-provoking. Regulation of AI is a hot topic, but could it stifle innovation? This query is more than a mere thought experiment. It's a pressing concern for AI pioneers like Andrew Ng, the founder of Deep Learning AI and Landing AI. Ng's views on the subject are as nuanced as the topic itself. 
He acknowledges the necessity of regulating AI. It's not a question of if, but when and how. As AI becomes more integrated into our daily lives, it's critical to have certain guidelines in place. These guidelines would ensure that AI systems are used ethically, responsibly and to the benefit of all. After all, unchecked AI could lead to scenarios we'd rather not contemplate, from privacy invasion to even more dystopian outcomes. But there's another side to this coin. Regulation, if not implemented thoughtfully, could potentially stifle innovation. Striking the right balance is crucial. On one hand, we need to protect society from potential AI misuse, ensuring that AI technologies are developed and employed ethically. On the other hand, we must ensure that we're not putting unnecessary barriers in the way of AI progression. Eng's perspective highlights the importance of a global approach to AI regulation. He believes that a cohesive global framework would be more effective than a patchwork of regional or national regulations. A unified approach would not only streamline regulatory processes, but it could also foster international collaboration, leading to more robust and innovative AI solutions. However, he warns against over-regulation. Excessive or poorly designed regulations could hinder progress, slow down research and limit the potential benefits of AI. It could even lead to a situation where only the biggest, most powerful entities can navigate the regulatory landscape, creating a monopoly that stifles competition and innovation. The key, according to Ying, is to foster an environment where AI can be developed and utilised responsibly without stifling the innovation that has made it such a potent tool in the first place. This requires a delicate balancing act an understanding of both the technology and its societal implications, and an ongoing commitment to ethical principles. Balancing regulation and innovation is a significant challenge in the AI landscape. It's a double-edged sword, and one that we'll need to wield with wisdom and care as we move further into the age of AI. Andrew Eng's insights into AI and its regulation provide food for thought. Indeed, we've journeyed through a compelling narrative unravelling the complexities of AI from the perspective of an industry leader. A recap of our discourse brings us back to Ung's thoughts on job loss to generative AI. While acknowledging the undeniable impact of automation, he emphasises that most jobs will only have a portion automated, not entirely replaced. We also delved into the delicate balance of AI regulation Engi highlights the dual necessity of regulating AI to prevent misuse and the potential for stifling innovation if not implemented well. It's a delicate dance between control and creativity, one that needs a nuanced approach. And let's not forget the timeline of artificial general intelligence. Despite the rapid advancements, Ung argues that AGI is still decades away, reminding us that the path to AI supremacy is a marathon, not a sprint. As we navigate the AI revolution, these insights could help guide our approach to regulation and adoption of this transformative technology. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you agree with Andrew Ng, leave a 100% sign. Until we meet again, stay curious.